Hey everyone, uh, my name is Anthony, and uh, I just gotta say, uh, what the f is going on <laughs> out there? Freaking, the world's falling apart. Um, well, I guess uh, everyone's in quarantine now, and uh, I figured since um, I'm not in quarantine, my job isn't, but uh, I figured since everyone's at home now, maybe you guys can learn a couple things from me. Um, yeah, so maybe I can uh, teach you guys something new on the ukulele that I found this the other day. But uh, on top of that too, if I appear tired, it's because I am. I've been setting this up since 4.30. It's now 5 o'clock. <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, figured I could film this before uh, everyone else woke up. So let me share with you um, what I figured out. This is pretty much how to find uh, like three different chord variations um, that I thought were... Uh, we're pretty useful and it's really easy to find. So it's all by using the C chord and I'm gonna show you guys right now. So pretty much um, if you have a C right here, uh, obviously we all know it's on the third fret on the A string, right? I haven't played ukulele in a minute, but on the A string, right? Right? Even though my ukulele is a little out of tune, but um, on this C chord, if you realize that this is also C, right, which is pretty much, you're barring these two, right, on the third fret. You have, on the fourth fret, on the C string, you have your other finger there, and then on the fifth fret, on the G string, right, so, you also can get this sound too as well. I'm sorry, hold on. Alright, that sounds way better. Okay, so if I'm on the C string, right, and I go to this position right here, right, how do you find the minor chord from this? You actually can just go like this, right? You just bar the whole thing just like that. You're like, okay, Anthony, well, where are you going with this, right? Well, let's take, for example, if you do the D chord, right? Notice it's a, it's in kind of a new position, right? And we're now barring this one, and then we have our pinky up here. However, if you wanted to find D, right? If you wanted to find D up here, you actually just, you know, use your pinky as the the guide, and it's up here now. That's D, and this is also D minor, right? And so if you wanted to go, let's say, do an F up here, use the pinky, do the same position up here, like with the C. It's also F, and this is also F minor. All right? But yeah, that's pretty much the concept. So even if you had E right here, right? And then you wanted to come back to E up here, and then the minor. Right? And uh, you could say it's probably starting from the D, because it's the position, but it originates from the C, because even if I go backwards, right, this is D flat or C sharp, and then this is just C. Right, and then if I do this, same thing. Right, and then pretty much that's kind of like the concept, right? You're you're able to find a new position of D or C, rather, or any chord, really. And, sorry, it's early, but, yeah. So you can... Um, but yeah, something I just was jamming along and I noticed the other day, maybe I could share with you guys, and it's, you know, really helpful. But, um, yeah, that's kind of the basic concept, so hopefully you guys are staying entertained in this whole quarantine thing. Um, I know I'm here in California and the government, or the governor, shut us down, so, um, like I said, except my job, so I'm out there, um, working. I work in heating and air, so that's a considered an essential service so uh yeah i'm still out there so hopefully uh i don't want to get sick but um to all those who are sick and are in quarantine uh i'm actually going to um start releasing videos keep you guys entertained hopefully and you guys can learn a couple things i'm going to film another uh video after this doing some other things so i'm gonna be wearing the same shirt so don't be saying that i never change my shirts uh, but yeah, I'm going to have another one coming out right now. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, if you're new to this channel, please like and subscribe this video for more videos, tutorials, songs, whatever I do on here. It's just kind of, there's no real schedule. It's just however I feel. So thank you guys for tuning in. Stay safe out there and keep, what do I say all the time? I already forgot. Stay sanitized. There you go. That's a new, that's a new saying. So stay sanitized. 
All right, have a good one, guys. Take care.